Hey hi greetings everyone I'm Jamshida I feel so happy and excited to meet you all through this video Now we are going to see some of the commonly mispronounced words in our daily conversation To start with we'll go with the alphabet Can you say it as alphabets No alphabet is a singular noun and has no plural form So A B C are all the letters of the English alphabet not alphabets now shall we practice the alphabet of the english language come on repeat after me a it's not a it's a b c d e f g H it's not H it's H I it's not I it's I J it's not J it's J K L M N L it's not O it's L P Q R S T U V When you say V your teeth should touch your lips your lower lip V W X Y and Z R Z In American English we say Z in British English we say Z Come on sing along A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z Now I know my A B C Next time on you sing with me Got it friends Now guess what we are going to do It's numbers Repeat after me 1 It's not 1 it's 1 It's going to rhyme with the word One, W O N, which means victory. Two, three, four, five. It's not five. It's five. Six, seven. It's not seven. It's seven. Eight, eight. Nine. It's not nine. It's nine. Ten. Zero. I hope you'd have learned the right way of pronouncing numbers and alphabet. Am I too boring with alphabet and numbers? I know, it's super simple, but when you pronounce it right, it's going to do wonders. Now, shall we move on to the days of the week? excited okay say along with me sunday sunday it's not sunday it's sunday monday it's not monday it's monday tuesday tuesday wednesday is it correct no it should be pronounced as wednesday Wednesday Thursday Thursday When you say Thursday you have to put your tongue in between your teeth Thursday Friday Friday Saturday Saturday Hope you enjoy repeating Now we'll touch the topic intonation 
What is intonation? How important is intonation? It is the pitch of your voice. Your voice sometimes raises, sometimes goes down. And this is intonation. Even some simple questions will have a change in its meaning when the intonation changes. For the yes or no questions, you will have a raising intonation. For the WH questions, you will have a falling intonation. For example, Do you want coffee? Do you want coffee? Now I have raised my intonation. Why do you want coffee? Why do you want coffee? Now I have brought down my intonation. This is the difference between raising intonation and falling intonation. I repeat, you have a raising intonation when you ask a yes or no question. You have a falling intonation when you go with the WH question. Know this very carefully friends. For example, do you like pizza? Raising intonation. Why do you like pizza? Falling intonation. I think you'd have got some idea about intonation. In summary, we have learned alphabet, numbers, days of the week and what intonation is with few examples. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you later. Thank you. Go back to your home screen. Click on library. Watch this coyote. 146 euros. <laughs>we can make sure someone's confident in their reading skills, then we've made an impact that will significantly make their life better. Our students want to read. Our students love reading. We just needed to provide the tools for them so they can access these books. The great thing about Mayon is that it's for all. It's like a library that I can take home and use it every day. Even though we have a library, it's not necessarily set up to meet the reading level of every single child. It's the personalized literacy component that's been a game changer since day one. When you think about grade level appropriateness and of course to their interest level, students are doing the tasks you ask them to do, but they're doing it with a text that they're interested in. Why don't you take your highlighter? There's a lot of visuals, they can hear the audio, they can even use dictionaries within the program. Amoeba. It recommends books based on their interests, so they can quickly find something that they want to read. You can have just a fluency program or you can just have a comprehension program, but Myon allows you to use all of those all in one. My little kids love it. They love it. And I'm seeing them read more than I ever have. I love watching a child's eyes light up when they find that just right book. Every threshold that we set, whether it's number of books, number of words, we blew thresholds out of the water. You can pull reports, you can see what they're reading, how long they're reading, how many books they are opening, how many books they are finishing. The data speaks for itself. We're talking about literacy through literacy. Plain and simple, so we measure reading by reading. There is nothing easier or more tangible for a community to come around. You can see kids engaged in it, teachers engaged in it. It's one of the easiest collective impact initiatives that we've been a part of. That's the magic, the Mayon magic, I call it. Subscribe to our channel for fun facts, lessons on English, and tips for public speaking.